Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing No Time Left, which is today's daily challenge from Balloons Tower Defense 5, and it is a very, very easy one. So we're going to start off with a bunch of these uh, boomerang monkeys. I'm not sure how many you should get, probably one more though. Um, yeah, I didn't really like the one in the beginning, but I was kind of gearing up towards the time when uh, Moabs would be coming in. And that never happened, because uh, the first Moab is coming in at, wa uh, at wave number 40, or 41, uh, at least after you, uh, you finish this. So you don't have to prepare at all for Moabs, which makes it a very easy one. And um, yeah, because of that, it is pretty much do whatever you want. So I didn't know that, uh, so I'm going to build against the Moab anyway, and I'm going to lose against it, but that's really beside the point. Uh, what you want to get as early as possible is a 2 and 3 boomerang monkey and therefore yeah you, you will have to sell some of the the other boomerang monkeys but yeah well that's okay so there you go i get a 0 3 boomerang monkey so uh, no penetration here yet but um yeah it, it will work out pretty well because uh, the penetration yeah you can buy afterwards and it will shoot down most of the balloons anyway because um, well most of the time that penetration is not actually necessary it's not actually good in, in any way and um, yeah therefore whatever right um, yeah at this point the only thing that I need to do is well get camo detection out and the only camo detection I really have is the mortar and the mortar will do just fine on its own so um, yeah, I'm going to uh, get a mortar. This is a terrible position to place your mortar, but hey, whatever. Um, that's a little bit better. We're going to reposition it in a moment. And then you will see where you should actually place it. Because, uh, well, if you upgrade the uh, two and zero upgrade, then it, yeah, you shouldn't place it at the position that I chose, but well, it's because it has bigger splash and you need to use that bigger splash. But for the normal, mortar this would be the best spot uh, it gets the most of the track and it um, detects virtually every balloon except for the uh, camo pink balloons it will have a little bit of trouble with those but well every now and then someone will get through and that is quite all right but yeah if you reposition it afterwards so uh, if you uh, it's first of all if you upgrade the two and zero you will not have that problem I didn't do that, I kind of was afraid of the Moab, which was stupid because there's no Moab incoming. Um, yeah, so I'm going to build some 2 and 3 uh, cannons, which are completely useless then, because, well, uh, I'm investing all this money in a Moab that will never show up. And yeah, as you can see, we have two 2 and 3 uh, boomerang monkeys, both of them set to first, and we're going to get a bunch of 2 and 3. Uh, cannons. I also have uh, one, uh, what's that, uh, tune 2 I believe, um, or tune 0, it's probably tune 0, the uh, the last boomerang one. And then of course uh, my two, uh, my 1 and 3 mortar, which should have been 2 and 3. Anyhow, this is going to be an AoE cannon, it is there to uh, pick up the balloons that are, well, at the end of the track. And uh, the, the, the two and three cannons, so the, the Moab Maulers, they are set to strong, so keep that in mind. That is why they don't fire on the balloons that actually get past them. But yeah, it's, um, it's a very easy one. This is wave 40, so yeah, wave 41 will be the Moab or wave 40, I don't know. Who cares? Nobody cares. There you go, wave 41 is the Moab. So yeah, nobody really cares and I will die to it. So, yeah, a really, really easy daily challenge. Uh, we've had a lot of those and a lot of very boring ones as well, which were a little more challenging, but not really challenging because, well, they're just boring. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. That's all I have to say about it. GG.